again. I so. think we have some other folks to talk to. Carol, we uh, have, right. is that Mr. Morton over there? Is he lurking like, with Mr. Mahal? Sure. You know, I barely recognized him, but yes, I think it is. Well, I have to tell you it is. I'm just trying to juggle my glasses in my hand. You're looking at um, the future of television. Standing to my immediate left, Mr. Andy oh, Mahalshik. Oh. Andy Mahalshik, the future of television, one of the finest young broadcast journalists in the region, in the nation. I'll have to tell you that based on my experience. Andy, we've been here before. We know the depth of feeling in the communities of northeastern and central Pennsylvania. It's being proven here again today. And you can feel it yourself, and we can hear it in the phones that are ringing. These are people from all over northeastern and central Pennsylvania. It doesn't matter. They're from Luzerne County, Monroe County, their age, their background, wherever they are, they're getting on that locomotive. We'll call it the Make-A-Wish locomotive. Joe Malazzo termed that before. They want to take a ride and they want to help. They know that ride ends with smiling kids at the end. Very interesting, and I, this is a little bit of philosophy, and please, while you're listening to my philosophy, call 1-800-480-WISH. Make your pledge. We're down to about 35 minutes. But very interestingly, there are no longer federal and state dollars to support many of the things that we counted on government to do over the years, which means we are left as citizens, as communities, to decide what is going to survive and what is not. And when we were in the process of talking about this telethon and Larry Steyerwald, and I have to credit Larry with bringing the ball into our court and saying, would you guys and girls like to help? He got one of the rare things in democracy, a unanimous vote. We agreed 100% to do it. And why? Because we decided the work of the Make-A-Wish Foundation is something that must survive because we can argue with a lot of things, but not the needs of children. That's right, in fact. And there's one thing that this area has always done, and you said it before and we'll say it again. When asked to come through in the clutch, in the darkest times, whether it be during the Persian Gulf War, during Agnes, during the various snowstorm of the Terrible mining disasters mining in years. Mining disasters, guess what? Hey, somebody's going to join us now, Don, who's got uh, a considerable amount of experience doing telethons. I know Andy Mahalshik, dear friend of ours, has done many for the American Cancer Society, and Andy is from the Hazleton area, proudly so. And I know that every time I ever visit the Hazleton area, and I mean this sincerely, I always get a marvelous reception from the very warm and cordial people down there. I don't know if we've had any calls from the Hazleton area yet, or the greater Hazleton area, as the folks down there like to call it, but now Andy Bahalshik is going to, I'm sure, convince you that you should call and give us a couple of bucks. Andrew! Okay, Vince, Don, thank you very much, and again, the kind words from the people from the my hometown area, the Hazelden area, Lower Luzerne County, and as Don said, and Vince said, we have, I've been involved in telethons throughout the last 15 years, and one thing I've always found out is that people always, when you ask the people of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania for a helping hand, they always come through. They have never let us down. And this is one of the, this is a history-making day, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And again, we're asking for your help. Dial that phone, 1-800-480-WISH. If you look at this tote board, and again, we're talking about the number of wishes, not the money total per se, but the number of wishes, the number of kids we can help out thanks to you at home. And I have to tell you this story. When I was getting up this morning and I was getting my tuxedo on, getting ready for this telethon, a history-making telethon for such a worthwhile event, my daughter Jacqueline, who's five and a half years old, was asleep in her bed. And I walked in and she was sleeping late today because we're just as a father and mother, we're having a great time in the summer, swimming and that kind of thing. And she was tuckered out and she was asleep. So I didn't get a chance to talk to her, but I leaned over, I gave her a kiss on her forehead. And I'm looking at her and I'm thinking to myself how lucky I am how she is a very healthy and happy child. And I was thinking to myself, as I'm looking at her, how many other families out there, or parents or grandparents, maybe have a child in their bed at that hour who may not be as fortunate, who may be dealing with something that no child should ever, or family should ever have to deal with. And I thought, that really got me psyched out to be here today. And I know if you have a child at home now who may be sleeping, or a grandchild, or you're with them today, you have a big day planned at a local park or in your own yard, Look at that child and say, if I ever have to deal with or have a wish or have my child go somewhere special or have something special, I want to be able to pick up that phone, write a letter to make a wish, whatever, and have that wish granted. You came, you saw, and you cared. And that makes me feel very good about where I live in this Northeast Central Pennsylvania. This has been a wonderful, Pennsylvania. wonderful effort. And we can't thank you enough. Art Dobby, the general manager of WBRE-TV. We're proud to announce our final number of $81,200. Linda, 23 wishes. 
Thank you so much, Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the third annual Make-A-Wish hey. Telethon here at WBRE TV Channel 28. Andy Mahalashik along with Dia Wallace. A lot of excitement as Keith and Don were talking about this morning. This is live television. Wishes. That's wonderful. We are way up from last year. 11 wishes so far. And we want you to keep those phones ringing. We have a whole new set of volunteers who just came in to man the phones. So keep those phones ringing. We want you to call in and pledge your wish. Okay, now we have to also emphasize that what you're going to see in the next several hours when we get off the air at 7 o'clock tonight is history in the making. This is our third annual Make-A-Wish Telethon, and it's been very successful the past two years, Dia, not because of what anybody here does for the most part, but what you do at home. And we really count on you to dial that phone number on your screen, 1-800-480-WISH or 829-2773. Andy Mahalchik, Dia Walsh, let's go to one of our many live venues this afternoon, Cole Street Park, and on my IT partner. New IT member, Baron, Baron Johnson. Baron. Good to see you again, Andy. Jordana, listen, what we've got here today at Cole Street here at the Isarama, a lot of fun. Now, it picked up right around 9.30 this morning, and it's gone by really fast. Great craft show, but we're going to talk more about that later. Uh, right now, we're going to meet two interesting people.